Again, Sock Casey, this is for art supplies, not snacks. Also, this is not dookie on my hand. This is paint. What an intro. Let's just get into it, you guys. Let's open up this art snacks. If you want your own art snacks, if you want a discount code, check out the link in the description. It's pretty great, but you know what's even better? These Ziploc bubble pouches. Why do I love these so much? This is my favorite thing every month. It's pretty dang cool. Huh, box. That's right. Fox is on my side today. Yeah, you're right. You're not on my side. You're never on my side. All right, as usual, I'm super excited. But first, before we get to the supplies, let's give Salt Casey this Laffy Taffy candy that came into the box. Here you go, Salt Casey. Thank you. Uh-huh, nice and sticky for ya. Don't make a mess. So as usual, we have our list of regular box supplies in addition to our Art Snacks Plus box supplies. But first we have our sticker of the month, which is this pixely camo print. Cute. So the first item in our Art Snacks Plus box is this Canson Plain Air Mixed Media Art Boards. There are 10 art boards here. That is so crazy. And speaking of crazy, they are crazy thick. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm just going to go ahead and put our block right here so I can start testing out our supplies. Let's move on to this Crink K11 acrylic paint marker. So this is an alternative sort of paint marker to Posca, so I'm super excited to try it. I've heard about these. So like with any paint marker, I'm sure you have to start shaking it and then pumping it. I love the lack of plastic, unlike Posca pins. Pump, pump, pump. Here it comes, you can see it soon. And we have touchdown, ooh, look at that blue. And as usual, the paint pen destroys this paper. I'm not even surprised. With my experience with Posca pens, it's just really hard to find a paint pen that doesn't eat paper. Okay, what's next? We have the Zebra, does that say mild liner? Ooh, it's a double-ended brush pen. So we have a peach color and a purple color. Let's look at the brush pen. There it is. And the other end is a little nib. This orange color is very obnoxious looking. So this is the orange. Oh my gosh, it is a highlighter. I hate it. Highlighters serve no purpose except for highlighting textbooks and stuff. Thankfully, the purple is a lot better, but it's still, I mean, it's purple. You guys know how I feel about purple. I'm sorry, it's magenta. Well, I don't like magenta either. Ooh, look how tiny and dainty this pen is. Let's see, this is the Mary Uchida Le Pen Flex. Let's open that up. A little tiny nib, so tiny. Oh, it's blue ink. I was expecting black. That's interesting. I love working with things when there's no black. It makes for a very visually interesting illustration when you avoid black. So that's pretty fun. So this is also a water-based dye ink, which means it will probably be destroyed with water. So there are some supplies here that can be used with water and some that will probably melt away. Speaking of water, next up we have the Daler Rowney. Aquafine watercolor ink. Boop. Okay, I'm just gonna put a couple of dots down. <laughs> I don't have a palette on me at the moment. This is portrait pink color. Okay, so before that dries, let's really quickly get out our Marvi Uchida water brush large tip. Let me open it up and fill it really quick. Okay, let's test out our water brush with this portrait pink watercolor ink. Ooh, it rhymes. Okay, so, so far, I actually kind of feel like I have more control with the water of this watercolor brush more than I normally do with these types of brushes. I normally hate these, but we'll see once I start illustrating a whole piece. All right, and last but not least, we have Princeton Snap Series 9650 Golden Synthetic Brush Filbert. There's our little brush. Feels like a short little brush. I like how thick and kind of heavy the base of the brush is. I like it. Oh heck, I forgot we have a joke. Are you guys ready? 
What was the Renaissance painter's favorite dessert? Go ahead, let me know in the comments what your guess is. Okay, all right, nice try. The answer is, oh gosh, it's a knee slapper. We have Michelangelo. Jello, get it? It's hilarious. Are you laughing? Please type LOL in the comments. And with that, I am going to get sketching and brainstorming what we want to draw. And then we can create something with this odd mix of earthy colors and very obnoxiously bright colors. Okay, so I'm really not sure what I even want to sketch. I've got my pencil. We've got a light skin tone, a dark blue, a obnoxious magenta, another obnoxious orange. Like what is that even? and a blue paint pen. I feel like this is the most random assortment of supplies ever. Not only that, but why do we need two brushes? I just, whew, this is a random one, but you know, a challenge is a challenge. Let's get into it. So because we've got that bright highlighter orange and kind of the same with the purple, what if we just drew someone holding a highlighter? Just, just went real literal with it. We could design the art police. The art police are actually the worst coordinated art supplies ever. Why? I don't know. They can be little mouse-like creatures with big ears. They're always watching you from the shadows, <laughs> making sure that you don't do any art crimes. So we've got this really dark blue. Maybe it might be really interesting to line with the dark blue, but also have to color in maybe their suit with the blue. That might be fun. Open up, this is the art police. You're under arrest for being obnoxious. Once you've been marked by a highlighter from the art police, it's very hard, if not impossible, to wash out. So you don't want to be marked by the art police. People will know you've done an art crime. She needs some sort of more art supplies in her arsenal. Maybe like a pencil or something. Like on her belt. <laughs> She's like, don't make me touch this eraser. I don't want to have to erase you. I think I might love her, but maybe we should do some more fun poses. This just looks like she's like, my highlighter. I love this highlighter. You can't take my highlighter. Though it might be more interesting if she was in a more defensive pose and then we had the ink going around her. So let me look at this. Hold on. I like this one. Okay. so. I am going to get a fresh block and um, we'll get to sketching her on a paper and finishing her. Okay, let's find the center of this block. You know I'm going to be doing a circle situation behind her character because she's whisking her weapon around her. Actually, I was thinking about that. I was actually thinking about giving her nothing but eraser tools because she's the art police. Maybe she is erasing graffiti around her and I could just keep her in a sort of black and white situation. Just color her skin or her fur the brown color and then keep the rest of her black or black. I mean that really dark blue pen color. Okay, hold on. I've hated everything I've done so far. It's just strained so much from the original sketch. And I really like the original sketch and it's just looking so different and stiff in comparison. So let's just, let's just rethink our strategy here. Okay, I don't quite like it like the original, but what can you do? Sometimes, sometimes that happens. Let's just continue. Oh my gosh, she's all pants. No body, I love that. Okay, but what if I, what if I don't want to give her clothes? <laughs> For some reason, I just want her to be this weird, almost bodiless, definitely shirtless mouse. So here we have a eraser, top eraser that she's wielding for her weapon, kind of like a taser maybe. And around her, we're going to have splotches of bright, obnoxious color. 
And I'm not going to pencil that because we don't need we don't need to sketch that. Oh, she doesn't have a tail. Hold up. Okay, one last thing. She needs a tail. I think she's adorable. Let's um, lighten this sketch and then get to inking her with our dark blue pen. Hold on, I think I just made a horrible mistake. Okay, as far as I know, this pen is water base, which means. Oh, yeah, okay, so if I'm going to be putting the skin tone on our character and inking it, I need to put a skin tone down first. Otherwise, our line art is going to disintegrate. So, <laughs> let's just go ahead. Wow, I, I did enough for it to be bad, but at least we can keep the rest of our illustration from dying too badly. Okay, so I'm quite terrified about even coloring the bits that I already inked, but what can you do? I made quite a mistake and I'm terrified to have to fix that. All right, wish me luck. I'm going to have to start painting around some of these inked areas and I'm terrified. Oh, yep. Oh my gosh. I barely got near it and it was immediately wet. I'm going to go ahead and shade some of her bits and pieces. I wonder if I could dilute this purple, oh boy, that purple marker just a little bit and add a little bit of orange to it to create a more skin tone for like her hands and feet. Oh my gosh, I think I did it, it's cute. Ah, I love that color. What a success, holy heck. It's very similar to brown, but it definitely adds a little bit of a pinker hue to work with, so I'm really happy that that worked out. Ooh, the texture you get with this is oddly strange, but I really like it. It's like the colors didn't want to be watered down and mixed together and they're rebelling against me. Now that I can ink without being scared. <laughs> Oh, I should paint the inside of her ears pink. Oh gosh, okay. I'll have to get back to it. Actually, no, I need to get that now before I ink any of it or she's going to bleed. I love this pink color, it's so good. Let's give her a little pink cheeks. Oh my gosh, it looks so good on her brown skin. Ah, oh, so cute. Oh, and I even colored her tongue without any serious problems. Let's try to add a shade to her tail. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but let's just see. I suppose I should color her pants the crink blue color because they are pretty much um, jean color, right? As few strokes as possible so we don't eat up the paper too badly. I think I'm actually gonna make her other pant leg the inking color just for emphasis of shadow. Now, I think I'm actually ready to continue lining her, so let's get into it. I don't really have much to say, and then I start doing something like lining, which I always do in my illustration videos, so it's like, I, I don't know what to say anymore. I find the pen to be smooth and really nice. I'm just not into brush nibs just because I really like consistent size of inking. And with the brush nib, you do have a variety of sizes going on. I don't hate it. I just prefer to have a very consistent line art size, I guess. Um, other than that, I enjoy the pen. I like inking with blue. I think it's really nice and adds a little something different than just having black. Anyways, I guess I'm just going to continue uh, inking this, this drawing. Okay, we have our art police character. Now I want to give her something to erase, like some graffiti in the background. So I'm going to use the orange and the pink 
in their pure and disgusting form. I'm not even sorry. Oh gosh, there's still pink on this orange marker. <laughs> Whoopsie. I guess I could have some pink that has splotched next to it and mixed in. Oh, we're tearing up the paper. Too many strokes. Too many strokes. All right, well, this is, oof. It was pretty cute until I put those highlighter colors down. I don't like those highlighter colors. But anyways, here it is. Here is our art police ready to erase all of your mistakes and artistic sins. I really like the way she turned out. I was happy that I could combine that purple and orange together to make a really cute pinky peachy color to to help her out a little bit and this was really fun didn't touch this guy when you give me a normal brush you know i'm going to use the normal brush over this guy I just not a fan of these guys actually let me i didn't add hair to her hair I hope you guys enjoyed our Art Police character design. Thank you so much to Art Snacks for sending me this box. If you want to get your own Art Snacks with a discount code, click the link in the description. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this mystery unboxing and challenge. Stay golden. And now a huge thank you to my wonderful patrons for all of their support. You guys are the best. If you want to be in the credits at the end of my videos, see secret sketches, coloring pages, early access, and more, check out my Patreon by clicking a link in the description. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Bye.